Hey, right, what's up, Mo? This is Way, and you're now watching DMV Eats. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Before we get to this shit, my man tried to bid off me, right? I got my little iPhone SE. He tried to perp out with his little <laughs> iPhone 13 Max oh, yeah. Pro Special Edition. I got to let, let him know who behind the camera, though. Yeah, let my, know, my ugly ass. Hey, I'm going to let, let y'all know. Elway, y'all, like, press me out, bro, because... Bruh, like, they was going ham in the comments, you know what I'm saying, on my page. I was just posing as a vlogger. I mean, I had the food. The first meal I had was all right. The second one I wasn't really too much of a fan of. And the prices was high, so it kind of did throw a little bad. But I, I was like, I got to pull up actually here and try a couple of different meals here, you know what I'm saying, before I make a whole judgment. But where we at, though, All right, look, we at the Uncaged Chef, right? So listen, y'all, one thing that we do, we respect people's opinion. You feel know what I'm saying? Especially the people that actually been here. But what I don't like is I feel like some people just piggybacked off the comment section and just went in just to join in on the bid and might never actually came here and ate this man food or even know his story. And then also just keep the same energy because this is a black owned business. So you're going to dog McDonald's like y'all dog hip hop chicken, dog shocks. These people that come from other places, these foreigners that be spanking us too, dog them like y'all dog bruh. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's all I'm saying. Like let it be equal across the board because I respect everybody's opinion that got a real genuine opinion. So we're going to go in here and we're going to try again. Cause I've been here before. I've had good meals. I've had some meals that was all right. You know what I'm saying? Prices are a little high. I'm not here to argue with nobody's price, especially if you're getting seafood, because I already understand it's inflation yeah, right now. Yeah, seafood yeah. prices through the roof. That's anywhere Man, you go. Chicken causing up the yeah, price. Facts. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do round two. We're going to check this joint out. We're going to get y'all an honest review when we get our food. Bro, we're going to get some. I'm going to get some. We're going to really just try this motherfucker out. Let and we're going to try do. one meal. We're going to try one dessert. And what's that mug gonna do? Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? One one thing I do like about this spot, I can't go inside because they got copyright music and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my monetization back. So, you know what I'm saying? I love the design inside. One, that was one thing that stood out. Like, it's probably, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I love the design. And the fact that it's still in the black on this, this shit could have been like down Georgetown. They could have moved this shit on some fancy shit. You know what I'm saying? But they brought this kind of a decoration down here. I, I, that was the first thing I came here. The second thing I love is the electronic menu right here. I love that right there too. You know what I'm saying? But we about to come in here and make our order right now. Like I said, we can't really go in here because they got the music cranking in here and shit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so listen, like this is this what I want to say about our people. Just people in general, matter of fact, I don't even want to single us out. All right, cool. When you compare prices and say, oh, so-and-so price is high, you have to take into consideration a small business versus a franchise, right. for example. Like, McDonald's is a franchise. It's fast food. It's meant to be cheap and affordable, and you're getting what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? Because people pulling out sandwiches from 1960 that's still intact. You know what I'm saying? The french fries ain't even mold or nothing. So it's no like, <laughs> you know, then y'all say, like, now don't get me wrong like back to the critiques like you gonna critique somebody and say they food sauce they this they that going yelp leave a google review the owners of restaurants see those and they can make adjustments because they uh, they ultimately want to please the customer because the customer is quote unquote always right, right. so y'all opinion matters but don't put it on social media but like i was saying like all right so his price might be a little bit more expensive yes because he's trying to provide restaurant quality food we ordered just now a, a jerk alfredo pasta that's not cheap what you want to pay ten dollars for you're not salmon by itself you salmon go to the... by itself, bro. i buy salmon <laughs> on a regular i know we used to bust in the food stamps y'all i know we used to bust in the food stamps but i'm just saying if we go to the grocery store right now and look at a slab of salmon salmon not cheap y'all salmon ten dollars by itself y'all want a whole plate for ten dollars you want the whole plate like <laughs> come on man we gotta be realistic i ordered the the, uh, the shrimp little biscuits it's, it's like it looked like we're gonna see how many it is when they come out but on the picture it look like it's six See, once again, seafood is not cheap, so you get what you pay for. But also, you want good food when you pay for it. So if somebody locking in the area and the food not good to you, you want to get your money's worth, and I respect that. So, but just like I said, y'all going Yelp or Google and leave a review of the restaurant, that's more professional. Yeah. And then that gets the attention of the owner, and then they can make an adjustment. Because a lot of owners, you'd be surprised, they respond when y'all lead the right thing and be professional. Don't just be cussing my, your food salty and shit. Da, 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 da. My, I ain't want to keep cursing on it because we already have a monetization issue. But I'm just saying, like, be professional and explain why you're saying what was salty. 
You feel what I'm saying? Don't just say the food salty. What was salty? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What did you order? You know what I'm saying? Why, what was good about the meal? Don't just say the only the bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it real, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because that way we can help a black man elevate. It's all about elevation. We got to help each other. You know what I'm saying? That's right, it. Right. Nah, facts. I was somewhat well critiqued of this spot, though, but we're going to give it another chance, though. You know what I'm saying? And, like, keep on hunting. When I blogged about it, though, you know what I'm saying? When I blogged about it and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even just like, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? It was based off somewhat of a experience, whatever, whatever. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like I just had one or two meals from them. You know what I'm saying? It was Uber these. The shit probably, you know what I'm saying? Shit probably wasn't even fresh no more. Shit probably was cold as shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'd say, let me pull up right here in person. You know what I'm saying? The center third and see how it really, really tastes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. I spent the, I spent the heavy dollar on, in this spot right now. Facts. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy the food, the dessert look. Like it's banging. I probably spent like almost forty dollars on dessert. And he got a dessert. His dessert restaurant is coming. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if anything, if I don't like the food, the dessert guy leaves me banging. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm off. I'm off. I, I took a keto break today, so I definitely gotta try the desserts, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to big Phoenix. keto. Yeah, I'm back though, man. You know, good sixteen pounds <laughs> off. Him. I was, I was good, man. You know, my stomach was like bloating. Like, it's still bloating a little bit. That motherfucker was like, Ugh. I'm like, oh, nah, I got to do something about that, man. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I got a little good 16 off me, man. I'm going to tell you, keto is the truth, man. If you know how to do the motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know, you just got to take a break, man. You get tired of eating motherfucking, motherfucking uh, 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 fried chicken with coconut flour and fucking shit be nasty. Nah, it don't be, the, the food don't be, it be the desserts that's nasty as shit. Yeah. The keto ice cream and shit, that shit be nasty as a motherfucker, bro. Anybody tell you that shit nasty, motherfucker? What the fuck? I, what the fuck I ate yesterday that was nasty as shit, man? Some motherfucking almond caramel balls. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was like almond chocolate caramel balls with with with, with coconut oil. That shit was. Wait, wait. Hey, yeah, we not editing this out. I hope you know that. We keeping this, yeah. That shit was nasty you just as said, shit. You just said, but I ain't had no dessert. You so just I'm said like, you ate some nut balls, bro. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> but that's what it was, though. It was like some fucking balls. Like, you could have said almond bites or anything, Almond bruh. bites. Whatever the fuck you want to call them, bro. It's like nasty as shit. Yeah, so, you know, keto hard, hard as shit. But I'm telling you, you do that motherfucker. That shit worked, though. All right. Saying? Big keto. Big keto. We back. This, this, I, I ain't going to lie. The customer service is on point here. All right, so that's, they get a plus on that one. The customer service is on point. They walked outside and gave us the food. We were just sitting here chilling. They walked outside and gave us the food. You know what I'm saying? We got the watermelon, lemonade. We're gonna try this out. Right, this is my plate right here. I got the, what did I get again? Uh, I said jerk salmon. Yeah, jerk salmon, Alfredo. Alfredo. The one thing I should have asked for them is to put the tomatoes on the side or don't put the tomatoes in there at all. That's one thing I should have asked, you know what I'm saying? You added that, by the way. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I was just like, I <laughs> put the pico on there. I should, I shouldn't say no pico on there, but it still look good. This is the mac. The mac and cheese look like it's busting. The yams look like it's busting. The cabbage look like it's definitely busting. This is like some soul food cabbage. This right here is the peach cheesecake right here, strawberry cheesecake, and what's that? Snickerdoodle pudding. And then uh, I said uh, Snickerdoodle uh, pudding. <laughs> pudding. It's the little shrimp biscuits right here. It's the shrimp biscuits right here. That's what Elway rocking with. You know what I'm saying? I can't eat that, but you know what I'm saying? But it probably look good. If they had mm. chicken biscuits, I would definitely would have brought some. Yeah, honey butter. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let L wait and get his food review on. Oh, and he's going to tell me what he think. All right, so look. I ordered the little... It's a shrimp honey biscuit or something like that. I just tasted the honey on there. That shit was good. I ain't going to lie to y'all. All right, my bad, y'all. It's... All right, so... Whatever little fixings they just put on here... It just made it hard for me to get the whole biscuit out, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, you see, I'm keeping it real. It made it hard for me to pull, a, you know, the whole thing out. It was too much uh, moisture. That was just like some little slaw or something. All right, let's see what it's doing. It's all right. I probably could have did without this, uh, without this slaw. That slaw, like, throwing me off a little bit. Maybe, uh, you try another one without the slaw, like, you take it yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna try the shrimp by itself, though, man. The shrimp by itself, 
It's seasoned. I guess it's good. This biscuit, though, is super tender. Sad as it is, the biscuit probably the best part of the whole little demonstration. Because this is on blessing. Biscuit A1. Shit, the biscuit A1. Shit, that shit, they should have just sold the biscuits by itself. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, now, if they had... If they had just the honey butter biscuits by itself, yeah, I'm, I, 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 I do that. Another thing is too, man. Why I, I, I'm trying to curious why they only did shrimp, man. Why you do a chicken biscuit? That's not. I would have bought that too. But it's yeah, good. a chicken biscuit. All honey right, chicken boom. biscuit. Oh my god. A honey, a honey chicken biscuit on that biscuit right there. Minus that slaw. That's a winner. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna hold you. But that's slow for y'all. Uh, that good? I was gonna try the honey biscuit gun. Yeah, the biscuit uh, is good, but that's slow. And the uh, the slaw throwing me off a little bit. It's it's not. I don't know. It don't go with the shrimp to me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you. The always get they uh, shrimp and grits. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I get. Say less. We gonna try yeah, it next so time. So my man, I ain't gonna put him on the camera, but he just suggested that you get the shrimp and grits. Yeah, you know let me uh, flip this around. You know, I fuck with the salmon. I'm very picky on my salmon. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't like salmon at all. And then I actually had some real good taste of salmon. So ever since then, I've been hooked. So this is the jerk salmon pasta right here, right? Like I said, I don't really like all the tomatoes and shit. I shouldn't have never chose that, but it is what it is. It's pretty good. That's what well done. So it's kind of like, you know. Let um, me try the pasta with it too. Ooh. The salmon's good, but the pasta here. Okay. Let me try it with the. Let me put the salmon with the pasta. That's all right. I ain't gonna lie. The only thing I don't like about it is that the jerk sauce. It tastes. I can't explain it. It's like one is like real saucy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not really thick. It's got kind of watery. But the other thing is, is that the jerk sauce tastes like, and I understand it's like, it's like if it's if it's like jerk chicken pasta, I think the whole thing needs to taste like jerk. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But the pasta, like this would taste good if it was in its own little thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if this was just like a regular salmon and pasta, it would probably taste better, you know what I'm saying? But being that you're trying to make this jerk, you know what I'm you try to make it jerk, it tastes like two totally different things added in one. That's what I don't like. But it's not, it doesn't taste bad though. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's a little watery. And like I said also, what I said you know, previously about the jerk sauce, but it's, it's good though. You know what I'm saying? I give it a good little C. You know what I'm saying? Good little C in there though. It's definitely fresh though. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely fresh, so it's pretty good. Mm. But the pasta would have hidden though. No lie. Mm. Ah, nice. Yeah, what you think, bro? Nah, I like that Alfredo. Yeah, that Alfredo, I like that. It's good. I like that. Mm -hmm. I ain't tried the salmon, but I tried the Alfredo. It's good. This the sauce. This the size right here. You know what I'm saying? Sides. This the mac and cheese. This mac and cheese like it's hit. Sides like they hitting though. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna eat all this stuff. <laughs> Say yams right there. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's another thing. They was they was criticizing everything like they, <laughs> what they were saying. They was like, man, you putting henny on chicken wings. We gonna try these do say yams right here, man. This shit probably gonna give me drug and shit. <laughs> Let's see what's up with these, man. Do say yams, man. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent. Nah, there's some good yams right there. Ah, damn. <laughs> there's some good yams. I ain't gonna hold you. You don't really taste the douce. Yeah, you don't taste the douce. It's probably just something a little kick in. Just give it a little kick with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the mac and cheese right here. I can tell I could tell he was raised by somebody grandma right here. Yeah, when you got that baked crust on top, you, you, you know what you're doing. Damn! This is probably my favorite part of the meal. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That mac and cheese. That mac and cheese. Me. <laughs> mac and cheese like that. Hold on, man. Damn. 
I'm trying to see what that. Nah. <laughs> God damn. Oh, let's see what this cabbage do. Mm. Oh, yeah, he about to eat the cabbage. I ain't even tried the cabbage yet. Mm. Now, you said this is not vegan, it's soaked in chicken broth. So, let me see. Ooh. That thing torched. Damn. Cabbage got flavor. All the sides so far that we had. The sides are just like A1. A1. Like, like every side get an A. That chicken, that, that mac and cheese right here, A plus. Fuck all that. And as y'all can see, look, I ain't messing with this slaw right here. This is my critique of this young. I don't like that slaw. But this biscuit, y'all, see what I did? I just took the shrimp. I took the biscuit. So, like, if I came and ordered again, I just get it without the slaw because the biscuit and the shrimp is it tastes good together. Yeah. That slaw throwing me off though. It ain't like how um when you go to uh Roman Rooster, Roman Rooster that yeah. Roman Rooster slaw miss. Mm -hmm. This slaw right here, I ain't fan of it because I don't know if it's supposed to be hot. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it should be served cold. I don't know, but it ain't doing it for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one on top, man, man. So what you get? What you get the sandwich and Joe? Overall. If you tasting it with the slaw, I take it down to a like a D plus. Without this, without the slaw, I give it like a strong C. Mm -hmm. But the slaw take it down, so that's how you serve it. With the slaw, it's a it's a yeah. it's a D plus. It's not really that, you know what I'm saying? But without the slaw, here strong C. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, man. We just had the drinks right here. Got oh, watermelon you. lemonade. Yeah, this shit good as shit, dude. I ain't gonna lie. Wish I could get some ice with it, though. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Now we gotta get to the last. We gotta get to the desserts, no last. But I'm gonna tell y'all like it is, man. The critique, the Katrina, like it's not like let's put it like this. It like a black-owned business, a self-made black-owned business. You know what I'm saying? That takes risk and experiments, like experiment, like experiment with like different things. It's not easy to do. So they're gonna make mess. They're gonna mess up. You know, they're gonna make mess ups. They're gonna fuck up and shit like that, right? But the way the internet be dragging them, and you know what I'm saying? And I was dragging them little bitches off the bed and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's overhyped. Like just like y'all be saying the food is overhyped. The way y'all be bidding on it is overhyped. You know what I'm saying? So it has to be like a little middle balance. This is perfect. No. But is the food bad? Hell no. Like, no. Like, not at all. This shit is here. So if you're in a mood, some soul food, seafood, and you just want everything all in one, you know what I'm saying? You got to taste for jerk, salmon, and country biscuits, whatever. Come here, bro. I'm telling you, this shit all right, though. It's all right, man. Overall, I get it. I ain't even tried the desserts yet. You know what I'm saying? I'll I, I give them the final grade once I try the desserts. Good. Tell you, it's all right here. All right, let's get it. Of course, I, I kind of already know what strawberry cheesecake tastes like. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. Too. This is the peach one, but this is the peach one. It got a little bit of marshmallow toppings on there. See what I'm saying? So we are gonna try this out right here. Mm. Oh. The peach not even my favorite um, fruit though, but I always like to try shit that's different. Real. Pretty good. Eat child dog. <laughs> nah, it's good. I'm, I'm probably gonna like that strawberry a little bit more though. Mm. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> is he marshmallows? I don't know. What is it? Like candy, some type of candy. Yeah, I thought it was marshmallows. It's like a candy or something. It's like white chocolate or something. Mmm. Yeah. Hey, let me say something else, like, huh? Nah, do your thing. Damn. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Peaches and cream. I need it because you know that I'm a fig. Get freaky in my fig. Let me see. Either that or it's with ice cream. <laughs> know what I mean? Peaches, Peaches and, and cream. cream. <laughs> Damn. Mo, he real dog this show, y'all. Damn. Woo. 
Uh, I guess the dessert was good. Huh? Made you dance and everything. God damn. So I know for a fact if I like the if I like the I I I, I, I gotta fuck with this night. If I fuck with this night right here, I definitely gonna fuck with the strawberry cheesecake. Whew, let me see the strawberry. Let me try a little bit of this. I ain't gonna do too much because I just like did too much with that one. Hmm. Oh, so sure, this is interesting. Now keep it hundred. I actually like the peach one better. Damn. The reason why is I don't really like the strawberry sauce like that. Okay. Like it's like a little too sweet. It tastes like um, like milk, like you know, like the strawberry syrup for milk. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. It tastes like that a little bit, so I ain't really feeling that. You know what I'm saying? I used to work a bit of jury, so I know what like strawberry concentrate really tastes like. You know what I'm saying? I can't really explain it though. It's like a different type of like a power sweet. They got strawberries and like you know what I'm saying sugars and sweets and shit like that. This tastes like they just put a. Uh, like nest, like nest quick strawberry syrup mixed with some strawberries in it though. Now, it's all right, it's good. Of course, I love cheesecake, that's one of my favorite desserts, so it's good. I really just, I'm fucking with this more though. The peach one was the one, huh? Yeah, the peach is the one. All right. Yeah, so I get this a good C minus. This one's definitely an A. Okay, that thing an A. Mm hmm All right. Yeah. Okay, that thing got A. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit, we ain't even try this. I'm oh, the snickerdoodle. Food. Yeah, I didn't even try this shit. We're getting full, man. <laughs> that just, I can't be eating all this sugar and shit, man. <laughs> I'm fucking my whole keto. You got to work out a while, bro. Yeah, I got to work out, because I got to get back in keto motion, man. The snickerdoodle on top. Oh, this, this is a cookie on top. Yeah. Let me set this up. Mm. It smells like banana pudding as soon as you open it. Good. Here's a good B minus. It's a little too sweet. You know what I'm That's probably because I'm not used to eating too many like sugar. I, I really yeah, you know your keto diet. I'm on my right keto now. shit. So you know with keto, you refrain from sugar all the time. So my tolerance for sugar is like really low. So it's a little too sweet. But if you like snickerdoodles and banana puddings, it's definitely on point. All right. I give him that. Okay. But my, my favorite one out of all of them is the peach one. The peach we know. One. God dang. Peaches and cream. <laughs> I should have been in that video when I was young. Go ahead. <laughs> like, no bullshit, though.